I'm Lisa Bortolotti and I'm Professor of Philosophy at the University of Birmingham. There has been some discussion in the media about the risk of a surge of poor mental health associated with the effects of COVID-19 causing fear and uncertainty and the effects of the measures that some governments have taken to keep people safe, such as the lockdowns enforced in several countries, causing isolation and severely disrupting people's routines. Some like to talk about the potential rise in mental disorders, whereas others object to medicalizing the effects of the pandemic. Um, and they argue that in these exceptional times, it is perfectly normal to feel sad, scared, worried, and lonely. So who is right? Should we talk about these problems as mental disorders, or should we just accept that they are perfectly normal responses to a critical situation? In an insightful blog post, Linda Gask invites us to move beyond this debate, stop asking whether distress is normal or pathological, and focus instead on the fact that when people need help, help should be offered. And I believe this is the right approach. In a paper soon to be published in the Aristotelian Society supplementary volume, a paper entitled Doctors Without Disorders, I argue that it is a mistake to think of the scope of medical practice just in terms of preventing and treating disorders. That's too narrow. Both in somatic and mental health, healthcare professionals address a number of problems we encounter in our everyday lives. Problems for which sometimes there is no obvious solution and problems that may require, in some contexts, therapy or medication. The fact that we need medical help does not make us disordered, as doctors help us when, let's say, we have chronic back pain, when we are overweight, when we expect babies, when we can't sleep, and so much more. Only some of the times what makes our lives challenging involves a disorder. In the philosophy of medicine, it's my opinion that there is no coherent notion of disorder that encompasses all of the things that doctors and other healthcare professionals help us with. And thus we shouldn't make the legitimacy and utility of medical interventions hostage to there being disorders to prevent or disorders to treat. A problem need not involve a disorder to have a medical solution. And where the problem compromises our quality of life or our safety, as in the case of paralyzing anxiety or low mood. It is important not to dismiss outright some of the possible solutions, even during a pandemic.